Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I've got a video for you today on a visor organizer that I just made for Duane in Illinois. And this is the third video that I've done on uh, this one batch of stuff I'm doing for him. So the first video was that 30 minute one of the BK9, Tops Bob, Tops MSK, that huge Baldrick breakaway, dangler, all that stuff. Um, so hopefully you guys have checked that out. If you haven't, go check that out. It's a, it's a really cool sheath and a very versatile system and it's just got absolutely everything but the kitchen sink on it um let's see the other project there was a custom damascus knife i don't know the the maker of it but he wanted a set up with a left hand scout carry and right hand pocket carry uh, with an ulti clip and then there were two paramilitary twos so i kind of did the the Damascus and the paramilitary twos in one video and a quick recap of the big system and then the big system was its own thing and uh, I've mailed all that to him already and I just wanted to uh, make sure he had it on time for a trip he's taking and I'm getting this out the door to him as well today so he ordered this visor organizer and uh, I'm gonna explain all these little rattly pieces here in a second it's not quite what it looks like uh, but anyway, in this visor organizer, he asked if I could uh, set up his, he's got a Gerber, I think this is the impromptu, it's called, impromptu tactical pen. So you can see it's got a little spike there for self-defense, but it also has an actual, um, whatever this is called, reciprocating or retractable uh, ballpoint pen on it. So that's a pretty cool little item to have. Uh, we have a Gerber crucial multi-tool a streamlight micro stream and this is the rechargeable edition so you slide that little lens housing cap there and reveal the micro usb port so that's a nice handy thing especially if you have a car charger anyway for a phone that takes micro usb you probably have that handy to be able to charge it and just always have power on your light which is nice uh, and we have this kershaw link and I really like this knife. I'd never actually uh, held one of these before, but I'm continuously impressed by uh, what Kershaw is putting out in terms of uh, quality of the knife and for the for the price especially. So anyway, obviously he has a blue theme going on here. He's got these nice, uh, I don't even know what to call their colors, but I really like these blues and he asked for Cryptek Neptune for the Kydex. Um, this guy here is a cold steel tiger, karambit obviously. Um, this thing is pretty cool, comfortable in hand, rubberized handle, and we've got all that on here. And then the last bit is this guy right here. He'd asked if I could create some kind of cash clip or compartment where he could store um, some cash and uh, potentially, you know, like insurance and registration documents and stuff like that. So. Um, that's that. Now, it's always a little bit tricky doing visors because, uh, visor organizers rather, because, you know, uh, I can, I've got, the first one I did was for my own car, but obviously I have my visor with me, so I've done a few others and, uh, you know, I think it was like two of the three contacted me back saying, hey, the clip that you're attaching to my visor doesn't quite fit can we can you send me something a little bit bigger a little bit smaller whatever um, which is no problem I don't mind doing that uh, but <laughs> Dwayne decided to avoid that whole thing altogether <laughs> by mailing me his visor so I thought that was awesome and it completely takes away any chance that uh, it's not gonna fit right so he threw this in the mail for me which was much appreciated and uh, now I can just connect it to his visor, send it back to him. All he has to do is put his visor back on. So uh, so now you guys will actually get to see how it looks on the visor itself. Now what are these little rattling pieces? This is actually a carry system and this is the first of its kind. So I decided to uh, try a new design out um, and just come up with something that maybe would be a little bit more, uh, a little bit stronger maybe. and have some more flexibility in terms of being able to adjust it on your uh, adjust the placement while it's on the visor so I think this system will work out really nicely and uh, it's super easy to connect and disconnect so all you can, all you have to do is you can imagine is uh, 
hook these little kydex hooks over your visor. That's it. Um, and you'll notice they're in pairs. There's a big one and a small one. There's three sets. Uh, and they all are actually connected. These two are connected to the same piece of shock cord. These two are, and these two are. Um, so it's just a doubled over piece for a little extra security on there. And uh, super easy. So let's see, let's connect this sucker. Uh, all right, so I'm trying to look at it from where it'll be normally in the car. And then your visor's gonna go on it like that. So all you have to do to connect it I'll show you right now. Uh, the short ends of the hooks are going to be on the side that's against your roof when you're, or your ceiling rather, when your visor is stowed. Alright, so you got your three hooks over the top, and now you just grab their corresponding bottom hook and stretch it down. See how easy that is? And now, this thing is, it's on there nice and secure. Uh, you know, barring a serious car accident, I don't think you're going to have any issues with this coming loose or any of the items coming loose on you. Um, that said, you do have to accept and understand that it is a risk to carry something near your head in your car that is not permanently attached to the frame of your car. So, that said, this is what it'll look like, sort of, from uh, from the user's perspective. And um, the reason I switched to this design, actually, is the other designs I had used uh, basically long, long shot cord loops that you would just stretch over and run along the back side of your visor. And that's fine, except uh, if you have a mirror on the back side of your visor, which most visors do, as far as I know, um, then sometimes that shock cord can inhibit that little door from opening. So um, I thought this design maybe would eliminate that issue. Obviously there's not a mirror on the back of this one so it doesn't really matter as much but it's still nice to have this kind of uh, convenient design. So anyway, um, as you're using it, the only thing I can say is, uh, you know, you're going to notice that the items have a little bit of rattle, a little bit of play. Uh, when you're driving down the road, I don't think it's going to incessantly rattle on you or anything like that. You kind of have to manipulate it to get it to do it. Um, and typically, one of my shticks as a Kydex guy is that my sheets don't have any, any play, any rattle, whatever. There's no excess movement aside from the actual function of drawing and resheathing your knife. Um, however, with something like this, you are almost certainly going to be operating it one-handed. You might be doing it while driving, and it needs—it just needs to be easier to get to your tools. So um, these are all going to be a little bit of like a, a stiff draw if you're doing it one-handed, because I still wanted there to be sufficient retention um, for you to be able to, uh, you know, not worry about your your tools falling out on you. But at the same time, uh, easy enough that you could technically draw it with one hand, like I'm doing right now. Flashlight's super easy uh, to draw. Flashlight is uh, going to be probably the most used item on here. The multi-tool, pretty easy. You know what, I might, I might loosen that link up. As you can see, I just drew the other items you know, fairly easily. The link is a little bit stiff still. And then the karambit, same thing. You're probably going to feel a little bit of movement on the visor as you're trying to draw some of these things out, but um, it's not it's not terribly difficult to get them out. And don't be afraid of it flexing a little bit as you're using it. So let me show you right here. You can see it's moving when you go to draw that karambit out, but it's going to catch at a certain point, you know, maybe an inch, and it'll it'll catch and get too stiff for it to move. I'll click it back in. All right, so there's that. And yeah, I guess the link is okay. You just just grab it, just pull it straight out. It'll be fine. I don't really want to make it any looser because it already does have a lot of play in it. Uh, and then the impromptu tactical pen over there. 
So nice, functional, looks good, and uh, has a lot of useful stuff on it. And then, uh, of course, this cash clip here. Let me show you how that works. I'll get some cash out. All right. Oh, you know me, guys. I can't make it through one without yawning. All right. So we got some bills folded. And in case you guys are wondering how many actual bills there are. That's 15 bills folded, okay? So that fits very comfortably in there. Uh, that's not even beginning to make that, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, just like a taco clip. It's not making it uh, stretch or sweat at all. So uh, let's get a couple more things in there just to show you. I got a couple couple pieces of mail I mean it's just a nice little holder for some paper and that's very secure in there it's not gone anywhere so you got toll money you got uh, registration insurance and you know if there's any other document you want to put in there while you're driving if that's important to you then there you go you got a space for it so Okay, guys, that's what I got for you. I am, eh, let's see, do I want to do it? I'm debating on putting a, putting the logo on somewhere in this section, but eh, I think I might, I might not. It's a little bit, it's a little bit bumpy in there, so I don't want to have an uneven press and then have a whole piece that's <laughs> can't work with anymore. So, anyway. Uh, now that I've had that conversation with myself, I am going to end this video. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this thing. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. Share this with all your buddies. And I appreciate you sticking around for more rambling. Stick around for the next one, guys. God bless.